Uh, hello, I'm Ben Hooper. Uh, I'm head greenkeeper here at Golf Club The Barling Bake. Uh, I've been head greenkeeper now for two years. Um, we're quite a unique golf course. Uh, we're an ambitious golf course. We always want to strive to improve. Our biggest aspect here is trying to work and find the balance between golf and nature. Uh, that is foremost what our ambitions here are. Intertwining the two to make a good experience for the golfer and for the biodiversity alike. Corona, where do we start? Greenkeeping has not slowed down once during Corona. Golf has only got bigger and bigger. Uh, we've hit on probably nearly 300 extra members in the last year and a half. Um, it's taken its toll. The course is too busy. Um, more expectation, but it's good to see new people to the sport and enjoying the sport. Nine to five. There is no nine to five in the life of a head greenkeeper. It's, uh, it's more of a lifestyle <laughs> than a choice, uh, but it's what we love. We've now got new installations of robots on our driving range. Um, in the future, we'll probably look at putting uh, robot fairway mowers out on the course. Uh, biggest thing I will add that I see on here, our robot doesn't mow at night because we need to be careful for the hedgehogs. Um, there's a lot of damage caused to the hedgehogs. The robots don't stop. Uh, I'd appreciate if people stop their robots mowing at night. Chemical inputs. Uh, here at the Piling Bake, we try to be at the absolute minimum. Um, so regards to fungicides, herbicides, etc., etc., We hardly spray for herbicides. I have no problem. Some people will disagree with weeds uh, in our fairways, in our rough, the, especially with the dandelions. Dandelions is the first thing to bloom. There's no other flowers out at the time, especially with the weather conditions, climate we're in. Uh, if you spray everything, there's no food source for the bees. And then on a bigger scale, everything has a you know, line of events, which starts with the bees in March, April with the dandelions. To be nominated for this award has been a, you know, a nice privilege, a pat on the back. Uh, also to find out I was nominated by another head greenkeeper makes it think there's some recognition for the job I do. Uh, the job my team do. I don't do it alone. If I was to win, it reflects on the whole club and my whole greenkeeping team.